Hi everybody, welcome to the second instalment of Basketball Ireland and Game Day National League licensing. Uh, this video is going to be focusing on completing your license applications as an individual player. So we will be making a separate video for clubs who wish to apply on behalf of players, uh, but this video will just be concentrating on how to complete this application form um, as a player yourself. Okay. So hopefully you will have received a license application form either from the Basketball Island website or directly from your club um, or from someone at Basketball Island. The registration forms or the application forms will look very similar to the registration forms you would have already completed um, for your club registration for the year. Okay, so just an important distinction to make when you do receive your license application, just make sure what you can see up here is National League competitions. The form you would have already com completed for the season would have probably had your area board on it. Um, so just make sure that anything you complete for your license application says National League competitions at the top. And I should point out for anybody who has not already registered to Basketball Ireland for the 2021 season, and that's just direct to your club, please make sure you do so before jumping on to your license application for the year. Okay, so this is the first page of the application form once you receive it. You will see on the first screen here that we just have a simple drop down asking how many people are going to be registering. OK, so this is only really relevant for the clubs who are registering multiple people um, or applying for multiple people, I should say. Um, if you're an individual player applying for yourself, you can just keep this as one. And we'll just hit continue to go on to the next screen. Next is some preliminary information, just instructions and what Basketball Island need to receive from you. Um, so please make sure you pay attention to the information provided here on the form. And then obviously we log into our uh, game day account as the normal process dictates for your standard Basketball Island registrations. So simply pop in the same email address you have done before and log in with the same password as well. Now, one really important point we need to make <clears throat> is our license application and where this differs to your standard registration, a lot of you registering for Basketball Island this year would have seen your name and buy pin appearing on the left hand side. OK, now for a lot of you, the recommendation or the process was for you to re-register clicking on that name and buy pin for the license application. Please ignore your name and buy pin on the left hand side. OK, this is exclusively for the club's area. OK, so you registering for your for your club for the for, for the year. For the license applications, we are asking everybody to submit a new application. OK, and what that means for you is everybody should be going to the right hand side and selecting the club that they wish to register to or apply to register to um, in order to be granted a license uh, from the drop down on the right hand side. OK, so just to repeat that, please ignore your name and buy pin on the left and select the club from the drop down that you wish to apply for a license to participate for for the 2020 and 2021 season. OK, so we'll just click on the club that we were going to be applying for and we pop in our details as normal. You will see, obviously, there are some additional and new instructional sets of information at the top of the form. So please, again, pay attention to what you can see at the very top of the application form. And now we are into the meaty bit of the form. This is where all of our information is collected um, in order to apply for the license. OK, so an important thing to point out as well is obviously every field marked with an asterisk is a mandatory field. So please make sure you complete those. And we're just going to quickly complete a dummy registration for you as well. So photo upload is relatively straightforward. We just hit save and we have the ability to crop. There we go. And dependent on your player category, and what's required of you, you may need to upload one or two pieces of documentation. Um, this is quite straightforward. So give a name to the document, choose the file, and what the type of document that it is that you are uploading. We close that. And we're just going to go through now and complete a series of these fields. For the player history, Fields. This is merely um, a requirement of you to provide some details on clubs that you've been registered to for the past three years. So please be as accurate as possible, just providing the club name and the year or years that you are registered with those clubs. Okay. And we're just 
looking at it. There is an auto populate option um, on the very first address field here. So because of my Google Chrome, I get a lot of recommendations here anyway, but you will have the ability to pre-populate this um, based on the initial information that you provide on there. Okay. Okay, so we have the bulk of our form completed and you can now see that I have been surfaced with the appropriate application fee that I need to pay based on the criteria I have filled in. Okay, so make sure that the appropriate uh, fee is appearing for you when it comes around to completing your application form. And once you're happy with it, you can have a read of the T's and C's provided. There is a little pop-up here as well, which will give a little bit more detail around certain policies if you wish to view them. So we'll close that one up. We'll agree to our terms and conditions and then we'll hit continue. So the next screen will take us onto the payments uh, portal. So this will allow you to just review the application fee you need to pay. And you can, once you're happy with it, select the secure payment gateway. All right, and then from here, it's quite self-explanatory. We'll just pop in the card details that we wish to use to pay for our application fee. And what will happen from here is once that's completed, you'll see a summary screen thanking you for your application. Uh, there'll be some details provided there from Basketball Island. You should also receive an email just notifying you that your application has been received and that it is still subject to approval from Basketball Island. Okay, and once everything has been processed and accepted, you'll then receive a confirmation message from Basketball Island also, just letting you know that you have now successfully applied for a license for the 2020-21 season. And that's it. So that is a process for the license application for this season. So just to recap, it's very familiar to a lot of a lot of those of whom who have already registered to their club for this year. The key difference is please make sure you select your club that you wish to participate for in the uh, in the national league competitions um, and provide all the details that's required of you for the license application form itself.